हेलो फ्रेंड्स ही आर वी विल डिस्कस केस स्टडी विच इज बेस्ड ऑन योर एन पी ए बेस्ड ऑन एन पी ए ओके सो ही आर वी विल डिस्कस कैलकुलेशन ऑफ इंक्रीमेंटल एन पी ए कैलकुलेशन ऑफ ग्रॉस एन पी ए परसेंटेज एंड यूजिंग दी प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ डिफॉल्ट देन एक्सपोजर एट डिफॉल्ट एंड एल जी डी दैट इज लॉस गिवन डिफॉल्ट ओके सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द केस स्टडी सी From the available data given by the S Bank Limited, answer the following questions. Okay, so what is the data? See, these are the data given. So first, go through the data. Uh, they are stating exposure are in crores. Total exposure given for consideration is nineteen thousand four hundred and fifty. The gross NPA at the beginning of the year in consideration was one four six zero crores. and npa adjusted during the year was 618 okay so what do you mean by that first see simply what is the total exposure that means total portfolio of the bank is 19450 okay now the gross npa at the beginning gross npa was 1460 and npa adjusted during that year is 618 okay that three figures they have given in the problem statement apart from that they have given this data that much of data they have given now see what is the data they have given understand first asset category they have given corporate triple e loan corporate e loan retail housing loan and credit card so four types of loan they have given and in that four category right they have stated what is exposure that is that means amount of a loan in that category then probability of a default that is nothing but the pd that is nothing but the probability of default is pd they have stated apart from that they have given exposure at a default that is ead right means what out of 6500 75% is at a default out of 4700 70% is default that is called as exposure at default next is lgd that is loss given default means what so 50% amount is at, at at a we have to consider as a, at a loss okay so this is the percentage this is the percentage for loss given default so we come to know what the data basically given type of loan they have given amount of the loan they have given probability of a default exposure at a default percentage and a lgd percentage they have given so that much of data they have given now based on that they are asking us a five question for five mark first question what is in uh, what is expected what is expected incremental npa of the bank for year in the question first is they are asking incremental npa okay first second they are asking level of npa at the end of the year so at the end of the year considering the incremental npa what will be the uh, level okay that they are asking third they are asking find out gross npa percentage of the bank at the end of the year in the question so we have to find gross npa percentage when at the end of the year okay and fourth question what is a portfolio default rate of the bank fifth question finding the expected loss okay so how to deal with such a five question i will explain you now see the first question what is that what is the expected incremental np of the bank for the year okay now we are going to find incremental np so see that full table they have given in the problem statement itself they have given the category they have given exposure amount probability of a default exposure at default and a loss given default okay so what we have to find incremental np so friends remember n p a you can calculate simply by multiplying npa means what what is npa npa means the chance that your your account is going to npa is probability of getting npa once npa that doesn't mean that we are not able to recover it is just figure out that that uh, asset has started to non perform okay we are not considering npa in at the beginning level as a loss okay so it is a categorization of npa now to calculate npa simply exposure that is loan amount into 
what is the probability of a default that will give you NPA level that is the incremental NPA now see here for this you have to forgot this table lastly okay now see so these three data they have, uh, table they have provided these three columns first for 6500 what is the probability of default so probability of default is zero percent so when you multiply this answer will be zero so for this corporate triple a 6500 there will be zero np okay now next for 4700 the probability of a default is 0.5 percent but that out of 4700 the exposure which is at a default out of that only 70 percent is at a default okay so you have to calculate 4700 into 70 percent into 0.5 percent okay so when you solve this means when you simply multiply this you will get 16.45 okay next is we have to calculate for 7500 for 7500 probability of a default is 1 percent exposure out of the 7500 80 percent we have to consider okay so simply multiply this you will get 60. now for a credit card 750 is total loan out of that only 70 percent we have to take and the default uh, uh, chance is 5 percent so multiply these uh, sorry for credit card 75 750 we have only exposure 80 percent so and uh, the default rate is 5 percent so simply multiply this you will get 41.25 so repeat i repeat see for calculation of incremental npa what is npa see this is only amount but out of that full amount we don't need to take out of that only 75 is uh, at a default okay so for out of 4700 70% only at a default out of this only 80% is at default out of this only 110 is at a default so here is to calculate the incremental NPA simply multiply exposure amount into what is amount at a default into prob uh, PD that is a probability of a default okay so when you multiply this column with this and this you will get these value okay here for NPA calculation you have to forget about LG okay so when you multiply this into this into this you will get this value this into this into this you will get this value this into this into this you will get this value okay so when you add all the uh, incremental NPA of individual portfolio you will get 117.7 and that is nothing but your total increment incremental NPA okay so this is the amount of NPA is going to increase in this portfolio okay now we'll go to the next question see next question is what is the level of NPA at the end of the year so we have to find the level of NPA so see in the problem statement what they have stated in the beginning I repeat I will show you here see in the problem statement they have stated that the gross NP in the beginning was 1460 and adjusted NP is uh, 618 okay this is given in the problem statement okay so based on that we will solve our second pro second question right what is the level of NP at the end of the year so at the end of year what is the gross NP in the beginning it was 1460 what is adjusted 618 what is incremental NPA just in the previous question it was 117.7 so adjusted you have to subtract incremental you have to add when you solve you will get 959.7 that is your answer so this 1460 is the NPA in the beginning of the year which is given in the question okay this is the adjusted at the end of the year and this is incremental NPA okay so you will get this answer now we will move to the third problem third question see find out the gross NPA percentage at the end of the year so how to find a gross NPA simply the gross NPA is nothing but gross NPA uh, upon total NPA right or, or we can say see we are going to find the gross NPA percentage means what what is the NPA they are asking when at the end of the year so in the previous question we have already calculated the level of NPA at the end of the year 
so see at the end of the year what what was the npa in the previous question it was 959 at the end of the year it was 959.7 out of what in the beginning what uh, what is a portfolio uh, what is a portfolio of the bank portfolio is 19450 okay so this is amount of npa out of this portfolio into 100 it will give you percentage of npa okay so here the formula is written is wrong this is not a correct formula okay here should be uh, the gross NPA percentage remember here don't go through this formula simply here instead of typing mistake actually see gross NPA percentage is common sense you can apply it is simply the gross NPA of the bank divided by total exposure of the bank okay now here we have already calculated NPA at the end of year so 959.7 is the NPA divided the total uh, loan portfolio 19465 it is given in the problem or you can say when you do the total of all that you will get this okay 9450 something which is given in the problem statement itself okay here it is given 9450 and this 9450 is nothing but the total loan when you do the addition of total loan you will get 9450 okay so in this way you can solve the gross np remember here instead of a total np you can uh, consider total exposure okay now next see the fourth question in the portfolio of the uh, what is the portfolio default rate of the bank so default rate we are going to calculate so how to calculate default uh, rate see default rate you are going to calculate. see it is very very important to understand see here you have calculated gross NPA percentage at the end of the year means what you have taken here the NPA at the end of the year which we have calculated in the previous year previous question right here they are asking about portfolio default rate portfolio default rate is to be calculated by using the incremental NPA divided by total portfolio or total loan okay so what is incremental npa in the first question itself we have calculated it is 117.7 so incremental npa divided by the total portfolio okay you will get the 117.5 divided by 95450 uh, you will get 0 0.6 percent okay 0 0.6 percent will be your default rate very easy right now next question is they are asking the favorite find out the expected losses so very easy expected loss you can easily found out by using what is exposure at a default what is the probability of default and what is the loss given default when you multiply all the three you will get loss okay so simply what is exposure amount this is the exposure amount out of that the exposure at default is 75 percent okay probability of default is 0 percent and LTD is 50 percent when you multiply all you will get zero okay see I have uh, given you here three only multiplication factor but here why the four column see exposure at a default is nothing but exposure amount into exposure at a default percentage so these two multiplication represent exposure at a default that means what 6500 into 75% of that is nothing but the EAD okay this is only the exposure at default percentage not a value we need value okay that's why you don't get confused why I am here multiplying four columns and here only three entry okay so that's why now simply very easy to calculate exposure at default uh, sorry to calculate expected loss EAD into PD into LGD so this into this into this into this you will get zero because here is zero so this all multiply for you will get this value all multiply for you will get this value all multiply for you will get this value so when you add individual uh, portfolio value you will get 73.1 this is your loss that means the out of the out of total portfolio 19,450 this total you are going to lose 73.1 crores okay so that is nothing but the expected loss so in this way you can expect a case study in your exam for 5 marks